Bang, Brooks Glycerin Max, DNA tuned, new foam, tall stack. This is the is it cake or is it shoe, running shoe? Is it Piba or is it, I couldn't think of a cake word that starts with a P, a pastry. Is it Piba or is it pastry? That's the Brooks Glycerin Max 100 mile review. And this is one of the shoes that I keep seeing reviews pop up on the Supwell app for. So if you are looking for more takes on the Glycerin Max, check out the Supwell app. The other thing is, if you are looking to lock in, if you are looking for a community to inspire you to go out there and up your best, to go out there and get it, check out the Supwell app. We got people dropping PRs daily. We've got people posting their training progress daily. We've got people talking about how they're fighting back from injury daily. We've got people being consistent daily. So if you want to lock in daily, up your best daily, get after it daily, check out the Supwell app, man. Last 100 mile review, Brooks Glister and Max. Let's get it. The day three with this, I almost called this the Skyward X. It's not the Skyward X. Day three with the Glycerin Max here, and I'm absolutely loving this shoe so far. If you guys have watched this channel and follow along and <laughs> like my shenanigans and analysis, you know that I love these Max Stack shoes with lots of cushion, lots of protection that make it easier to run, that give us some comfort for time on feet. And that's exactly what this thing has done so far. So first day I took it for 18 miles. I did a 10 mile morning run, first run, and then eight in the afternoon. I was actually finishing that run on a pretty solid clip. I was going to 620, 630 pace. So close to marathon pace and it did great. Not as light as the Super Blast, but has some bounce to it. And then yesterday did a tough morning workout in the rain, not in this shoe. And then a four mile family jog in the afternoon, about a 10 minute mile pace with the family. So. It's been awesome for everything so far, really comfortable, a lot of cushion, a lot of protection, two different types of foams in here. So a little bit of the softer heel landing foam and then nice bouncy foam in the front. I wanna see how this does for some high mileage testing and also this DNA tuned, it's a brand new foam from Brooks. I wanna see how it does with a hundred miles on it, see how it evolves. So that's the plan. Today is Wednesday, September 18th. I've been dailying these shoes, just using them as my daily trainer. That's what I'll plan to do until we get up to 100. And hopefully we get some cool insights on these shoes. I'm hoping that they last and give us a durable, reliable platform because that's one of the things that's so great about the Super Blast. Yes, it's the lightweight, but it's also the durability. This so far has the comfort, the versatility, and the fun, and it feels a little bit more normal on foot than any of those other Mac Stack shoes, which we can compare to this either later in this video or in a different video, but the one untested quantity is the durability. So 10 miles this morning, nice relaxed run, get it in before the work day, and we'll be up to, what will we be up to? What will we be up to after this run? 32 miles after this run, so let's do it. All right, we got our morning mileage in, likely our only run of the day, 10 miles, 
7 minutes and 48 seconds, 1 hour, 18 minutes and 18 seconds. I have this theory. I've talked about it before. Hear me out. And dude, it's September, but it's humid again. Our lens is fogging up. Holy cow. I have this theory that a relaxed 10-mile run will be about as long as your half marathon PR. I just ran a 117 last week. It was not an all-out effort. It was during a tempo run, but my 10 milers are anywhere between 110 and 117. And look at that. Try it out. Try it out. Let me know if you think it's accurate. Anyway, Brooks, Glusher, and Max here. This is one of the most comfortable shoes of the year. That's the headline. Let's do a little bit of an overview here. So you get this super tall stack of foam. That's providing the comfort. You get 46 millimeters in the back, 39 what is it? They're 45 and 39 for a six millimeter drop. That puts it right in this moderate drop, nice and approachable range. The back is softer than the front. That's the key with the DNA tuned. Not only does it look like fondant, fondant, it's also a dual foam. So a little bit softer in the front, firmer in the back. And that's the cool and unique thing about what they've done with this midsole. Most of the brands who do dual foam have it reversed so that the firmer foam is in the back providing stability in the softer bouncier foam is in the front now this is the bouncier foam still in the front but the back is really to provide that step in comfort for walking for slower miles and then when you're running fast popping off the forefoot you get some more response and bounce here. It works really well and because of that it doesn't feel like it encourages me to run a certain pace or a faster pace. I felt great today running eight minute miles. I felt great yesterday with the family running 10 minute miles. And I felt great a few days ago running 620 miles. And I didn't really pick it up at all today. And it didn't feel that the shoe was punishing me to do that. And the other thing that's a little bit different from this shoe to some of the others in this category, especially at the $200 price point, is that they've gone for a lot more comfort in the upper than some of the other shoes. So you get a lot of padding here around the back, a lot of padding in the tongue. It's a nice thick tongue, a thick material on the upper, which you can see is not a performance race material. It's not a race fit and it actually fits a little bit long. I generally will always go true to size unless there's a big issue, but I think some people might be able to go half a size down on this, which is just wild, but it's really comfortable upper. I love it. True to size. You get a lot of room and everything Brooks has done with this shoe is for comfort. It, they've tuned this for comfort. Let's see if I can pull out this insole. Just take a look inside here. Yeah. Standard, standard insole, ortho light, nothing too crazy. But, oh, look at that. You can see there's a little hole in the back through to to the inside that's cool <laughs> yeah the calling card of this guy is going to be comfort for long miles i'm not sure i'm definitely not going to be able to do a 20 mile long run in this because i only have one more on my schedule and until chicago and i'm going to use a race shoe for that because it's a long run workout so i'm not going to do a 20 miler i'll probably take this up to 12 miles to see how it does for 90 plus minutes but i mean we were out there for an hour 20 and every time i put on this shoe i just want to keep going this is the keep going larry june and harry fraught shoe because man i started that run and i was down i was i've been in a little bit of a funk just the mileage and not feeling like things are moving in the right direction sometimes and i think especially when i don't go out there with the gopro it's almost like i'm bringing a friend on the run when i have the gopro because i can talk to you guys but i didn't do that today then i just get in my own head and 95 percent of that run was horrible and then i reached the last little straightaway something just flipped in my brain my brain reminded me oh you're almost home dude just kick home <laughs> you don't have much left this is a great shoe, so I was picking up the pace a little bit on that last straightaway. That was my fastest mile, I think, 717. Not not very fast for me, but fast for a recovery run and how I was feeling today. And it felt great, and I felt like I could go a few more miles. So this is going to protect the legs a ton. I think it's going to be an awesome pick for long runs, and especially if you want comfort for the marathon. So I will plan to take this up to 90 minutes 
I'm not sure when, maybe, maybe next week, but the mileage is coming down a little bit. So we're going to do just a lot of testing on this for miles, see how the durability holds up. We're at 32 miles now and the rubber is holding up great. So a third of the way through and it looks untouched. And man, I told you guys in the first run review with this shoe, it was pouring rain on the, what was it? The second run. And the grip on this was awesome. Better than, I don't want to say better than, but right up there with the Puma grip. So put some respect on the Brooks grip. I felt that in the Ghost Max too. I told you guys, I was out here like an arachnid in the Ghost Max too because the grip was so good. Now, one more question before we close out this portion. Somebody asked me how this compares to the Ghost Max 2. Very similar feel and geometry. This is a little bit taller but the the way that the midsole curves is similar the drop is similar the ghost max is firmer it has some good bounce to it but that one locks me into a little bit of a faster pace for me that's best at around seven flat or even 640 to 730 so faster daily miles this feels like it has a little bit more range also because of the tall stack and that softer touch in the heel just feels a touch more comfortable this is the pick i would i would if budget weren't a thing this is gonna be better for comfort for fun ghost max 2 is gonna be better if you want something a little bit more normal but man this is this is just a great shoe it's 200 dollars, but it, it's worth it because of the, so far to me it feels worth it because of the tech that they've put in here all the protection oh there's a b in all the comfort. So it feels like an elevated Ghost Max in the same way that the Belos feels like an elevated Rebel. There's a similar geometry. The foam has a similar identity and a lot of the same characteristics, but this is just a level or two above the Ghost Max 2, which is also a great shoe, but that's a $150 shoe. This is a $200 shoe. So I'm excited to see how the durability goes with this guy and just get some more miles in it. I love doing these 100 mile reviews because I can spend a lot of time with these shoes and, and go deep on them. The last 100 mile review I did, which is going up today, I'm excited I can finally talk about it, is the 1080 V14. That was a tough one because I did a full 100 mile week in it plus other miles. And that's why I'm feeling a little bit down this week because I just completely went in the tank to get a 130 last week. That's a lot softer than this shoe. One of my favorite daily trainers of the year, if not my favorite daily the 1080 but this is just this is a little bit of a different category but this is also going to give something like the 1080 the run for its money because it has that comfort but with maybe a little bit more bounce and not going to bottom out in the way that the 1080 might for some people so this is going to be a bigger runner champ four hour runner champ high mileage runner champ Glitcher and Max doing numbers so far. Good job, Brooks. Keep going. Shout out Warren Buffett. Shout out all my slugs. And we're back. Sometimes you just need to get get a good 10 miler in to get those endocannabinoids going. Shout out to the Supwell app. That's how I learned about the endocannabinoids. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is goat weather. September 19th. September 19th might be one of the best running days of the year. The temperatures are falling. We still have greenery. September 19th isn't a rainy day. It's a blue skies day. But what I wanted to say, this shoe feels so easy to run in, and that's a quality that I look for in not just $200 shoes, but good shoes in general. It shouldn't feel like a chore to run, especially when we're spending money, a lot of money. These guys are going ham up there. Shout 
out to those guys, man, putting in the work. All right, halfway through, I hydrated too much. I need to stop for a little break. But we're 16 miles on the day now, and this is where I'm wondering, just this much stack without the plate. Is it too much for any shoe? So far, this shoe has evaded that dilemma, and it's felt bouncy enough without too much squish. But as I'm tired on the second round of the day, I'm feeling a little like maybe the Skyward X is what I'd rather have on my feet. So maybe that will be resolved today. Maybe it won't. That looks very ominous up ahead. I see some thunderstorms rolling through. Oh no, oh no, looks like we are running into it, that is not good. Turkey vulture playing cleanup crew on the copperhead. Dinner tonight, very healthy, very well balanced meal from Supple Kitchen, we have the brown rice, a little curry here with potatoes, chickpeas, kale. Looks really good. Actually, it tastes really good. I had one bite. This is fire. This is a nice healthful meal to balance out all the other random stuff I ate today. Thank you, Charles. All right. Charlie has a family friend visiting, but look at this. We just did a family run. Got three miles, 949 pace. That took me up to 100 for the week. I actually did my long run earlier today, 20 miles in. I have a bunch of stuff on the floor in the office I need to clean up, but 20 miles in the Alpha Fly 3, and then three recovery in the Glycerin Max here. And man, this is this now has the crown for most comfortable shoe. It has jumped over the 1080, jumped over the More V5. Comfort beast. And I think as we get more miles in it, I actually think it's getting bouncier so we'll do another update soon i think i'm gonna run this tomorrow as well do a comparison to probably the glide ride max but gosh dang this is a comfy shoe and i have my comfy socks on os first os first putting in work
organic yeah. tortillas because because we used organic flour. Yeah. And like organic tortillas like that, it's like six dollars <laughs> or four dollars for six. Or the cost of this. I would have to. I mean, three cups of flour from Trader Joe's. I don't know how much the flour is. Four dollars. A dollar and five cents or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Super cheap. Tortillas and like I don't even know that flour tortilla. I don't know. <laughs> you want more tortilla? You like that with butter? I'll give you one more. Okay. So this is the dinner, courtesy of Subwell Kitchen. Beautiful vegan enchiladas with homemade tortillas refried beans i think she did some soy chorizo in there corn onions bang Every day, every day, every day. It's not every day when we feel like it. It's not every day when it's good weather. It's not every day when we have a good workout. No, it's getting out here and dropping every day. It's getting out here and getting better every day. It's getting out here no matter what dang shoe is on our feet and putting the miles in dang near every day. I don't get the miles in every day, but man, I don't even remember the last day I took a day off. And that's the difference. If, let me let me talk to you real quick. That's the reason why I put up a 239 after putting up a 249 earlier this year, after putting up a 319 18 months before that. There's no secret sauce. There's no secret. That's the difference with a lot of these boys out here scratching, struggling, trying to break through sub three. They're not going every day. Dang, sick of reviewing shoes, man. I'm trying to show you guys how to really work, how to really get active every day. I'm going to close it out here. Eight miles in the glycerin, Max. What day is it? Monday, October 21th. This thing is 21th. So dang fired up. I can't even remember. 21st. Monday, October 21st. This might be the last 100 mile review. I'm getting sick of this. Show these boys how to really grind. This is the, this is the, this is the end. We're turning a new page. Let's get this over with. Another hundred piece. Another hundred. How many hundred mile reviews is that? I don't know where we're going to end it on. That's the last one of the year. That might be dang near 20 hundred mile reviews. Eight miles. Point Adam Vinatieri. 708 pace. These blokes don't even know who Adam Vinatieri is. That's the difference, man. I was watching Adam Vinatieri kick some three pointers back in 2001, 2004. Putting up numbers. 
putting up numbers. Now we're putting up numbers. Man, I would say I'm locking back in, but I never stepped out. I never stepped out of the booth. The only difference is they really ticked me off now. Sleeping on I don't know how, how fast do I need to get for them to take. That's what I asked in training, and then I dropped a 239 on them. Boys out here trying to talk about science, putting up some 415s. Really ticked me off, man. October 21st, still got to pop the top off to get it in. That's how you know we've been, out, we've been out here grinding. When you see the thumbnail, the shirtless thumbnail, ah! That's how I feel right now. Ah! Ah! <laughs> they really take me off, man. They really brought out the beast. That's what somebody said in the comments last week. The marathon woke up the beast. That's how I feel. You know why? You know why I feel like that, man? Last week when I ran in the Super Blast 20 mile day, that was 4,000 miles on the year. And they're still sleeping on me. And they're still disrespecting the training. And they're still complaining about the video light. Well, I'm gonna give you a short review today for all the short, short video people. Brooks, Glycer, and Max. Soft, bouncy, comfortable. This is the best Max Cushion Gang recovery cruiser of the year. If you like the 1080, bang! If you're looking to replace your 1080 V13, matter of fact, this would be a great shoe. This takes everything that I loved about the 1080 V13 and amps it up. And I was thinking about back to last year. Last September, October, November, before the channel really popped off, I'd been grinding for about six months straight, every day, barely making a dent. And that's who this channel is for, man. This, this channel is for the people who wanna lock in and grind every day, six months straight, making zero dollars, putting their pain down, just for a chance to be great. That's who this channel is for. And I started dropping every day, April, May, zero views, 10 views, zero views, zero views, until one day a video got 100 views and then 1,000 views and then the snowball effect and when we went to TRE, the running event, as a matter of fact, I don't even know if I'm gonna go this year. I might let those other little boys have it. But when we went to TRE, that's when it popped off. But it wasn't, it wasn't without the daily grind. And you know, before we started the daily grind, it was three, four months of daily grind on the website. I don't think a lot of people know this. Supwell.io. I started off publishing articles every day on fitness, nutrition, running, every day. I said, you know what? Every day, I'm gonna publish an article. I don't know where this is gonna land. I don't know where this is gonna lead me, but I'm just gonna lock in and go every day. It's that classic story about swinging the ax, chopping the stone, and the stone cutter on the 1,000th swing of the ax finally busted it open. So this channel is for the people who want to swing, who want to swing that stone cutting axe, that wood chopping axe. Pop a fall and winter gilet on in the freezing cold, get their booties off the couch, put their phone down and go in and get it. That's what this channel is for. But back in September, October, November, when I'd been grinding every day, had three, four, or five shoes. The thing is, before this channel really popped off and I started testing shoes, I didn't have 10 shoes, I didn't have 12 shoes, I had three shoes, I had four shoes. And my rotation was New Balance 1080 V13, that was for the relaxed everyday miles. Nike Vomero 17, that was for going out there, workhorse, crushing it. And Adidas Boston 12, that was for speed. I didn't even really use a plated 
racing shoe. But this reminds me of the 1080, and if I were to build a two, three shoe rotation, this would be one of the shoes in there. This would be that everyday relax mileage shoe when I just wanna have fun and remind myself that there is some joy to running. It's not just getting out here and doling out punishment and showing them what it means to grind because that's who this channel is for. The ER doctors and the single moms and the people in the military and everyone else who says that they're inspired by the daily grind. That's what this channel is for. So Brooks Glisher and Max, if you're looking for something comfortable, soft, bouncy, this is it. This is the last dang 100 mile review. I'm done with this thing, man. We're locking, I'm not even gonna say we're locking back in, but I'm, I'm done with the disrespect. New build coming soon. And these boys take me off.